I know what you're thinking. This girl is so good looking. And you're right. Hi, I'm Annie, and welcome to an anthropology research assignment, a posable thumbs edition. For this experiment, I taped my thumbs to the palms of my hands to better understand the physical importance of the opposable thumb. Today, I will be answering the lifelong question asked, how important really is the opposable thumb? Let's do this. this that was my thumbs up. First, on today's task menu, sharpening a pencil. Let's get into it. I did have trouble finding the hole at first, but I figured it out. I did end up having to change my normal sharpening technique. I held the pencil between my index and middle finger and twisted it. Though I was able to sharpen my pencil to my content, I can confidently say that this task was more difficult without my opposable thumbs. Next task on the menu today is drawing a picture. In fact, I did have to change my technique in order to complete this task. Once again, I held my pencil in between my index and middle finger to draw this lovely, extravagant, beautiful face. Of course, once I finished my masterpiece, I had to sign it. <laughs> so uh, once again, I held a pen in between my index and middle finger and chicken scratched on my name at the bottom right of the page. While I was able to complete both tasks at hand, my artistry and penmanship are normally perfect, whereas I found today's work to be amazing did not meet my expectations and was not easier to complete. Boo. The third task on today's menu is typing something on my computer. At first, I found this task to be a little bit daunting because I don't really use my computer that often. But when I do, I use it for educational purposes only. Interesting. As you saw a little bit earlier in that clip, I did struggle opening my laptop without my thumbs, but with that being said, when typing, I don't really use my thumbs. I don't find a use for them. So this task did not impose on my ability to complete said task. Our fourth item on the task menu today is turning to page 55 in a book. For this experiment, I chose to use Seth Rogen's new book, Yearbook because I read it every night and it's really funny. As you can see, I did struggle a good amount trying to get to page 55, but I figured it out as I always do. <laughs> Classic me. Success. <laughs> While I could complete this task, it was more difficult trying to flip to page 55 of a book without my opposable thumbs. The fifth task I'll be completing today is cutting a circle. While I was cutting the circle, I found myself really struggling to complete this task, but then it started going well. I thought, well, I'm, I'm getting to the end of this. I'm gonna finish this and it's gonna be great. This is a mediocre circle. I never cut a good circle in general. Um, yeah, there was a minor inconvenience, some might say, but it went fine, it was fine. Everything's fine. I'm not hurt, it's fine. I was able to complete this task, but I did find it more difficult to cut a circle without my thumbs. And now, here are some things I can do perfectly well without my thumbs. Rock out, because if you can't put your index finger and pinky finger up at the same time together, you definitely can't party. Wave to your friends, hey, come on over. <laughs> Pinch and poke at those big pimples and pores. 
Mm -mm -mm. If I was another organism and I didn't have opposable thumbs, I wouldn't carry out any of these tasks on a regular basis. It was way too difficult, and even with the experience that I have of being a person with opposable thumbs who already understood all the tasks and how to generally carry out them, I found that without using my thumb, most of them were far more demanding than they normally are. I found cutting out a circle and turning to page 55 in a book to be the most difficult tasks to complete. Both of them required a sense of like balance and stability that my thumb normally can provide, and uh, it couldn't this time without it. To be able to complete these challenges, I found myself using other parts of my body to help balance out the weight of whatever I was doing, whether it was my knees or my thighs. I found myself relying less on my thumb and more on my other limbs to deliver. Imposable thumbs allow humans to carry out much more complex tasks than other organisms are able to. With the opposable thumbs, humans have been able to achieve so many things that they wouldn't have been able to without it. For example, air conditioning, that's cool. Without thumbs, we probably wouldn't have air conditioning.